No, I just think it's very exciting for um, you know the city. It's been a long time uh, coming, long wait, and it's been very exciting being a part of it for the last uh, year and a half. So we even had to begin here when um, the, the construction team was just finishing up because we had to prepare the spaces for um, the teams that were coming in. So we had to clean you know, the maintenance area and that kind of thing. So we did a whole post-construction clean of the building in preparation for them to fill it with furniture and equipment. Right now we are going back through the building and doing a clinical clean, um, wiping down all of the furniture and equipment that's been installed as well as all of the finishes and services that you know could have had dust generation from installation. We want to make sure that the, the place is clean and safe for all the patients and staff and public that are entering uh, on day one. Um, of course, we have McKenzie Place um, that we still need to keep clean and um, some of the support service areas that will be at QE2, um, like the kitchen and um, supply areas that we still need to um, maintain. The biggest challenge is definitely the, the transition of the, sh like the amount of staff that we have and introducing them to um, the new equipment, um, new processes like um, entering isolation rooms. You know, we had a bit of an advantage in, in being able to be here early. Mm -hmm.